Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Florida's Emergency Operations Center was a flurry of activity on Thursday. ESF 10? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two hurricanes had just walloped the state. Call 911. Luckily, it was only a drill. Hurricane season doesn't start until June 1st, but with one named storm already in 2015, Director Brian Kuhn says Florida remains at the ready. The early season storms are no indicator that it's going to be an above average or below average season. In fact, some of the forecasts indicate that it may be a slightly less than average season. But the message to Floridians is it doesn't really matter how many storms are in the Atlantic this year. It matters if any of those storms impact Florida and impact you. It's been 10 years since the state was hit by a hurricane, but that doesn't mean people should be complacent. Since the last time Florida had a hurricane, millions of new people have moved to the state, and we have it on any given day a couple of million tourists in the state as well. So there are lots of people in Florida who have never experienced a hurricane before. They don't know how bad those situations can be, how long they're going to be without power, how long they're going to be without communications. If Florida gets hit with its first hurricane in a decade, it will be the first year that lawmakers have authorized gun owners who may not have a concealed carry permit to travel with their weapon if they're forced from their homes. Lawmakers say they wanted to make sure Floridians weren't being thrown in jail by just protecting their property. If you put it just underneath your seat or if you put it in the side of the door, that could be considered carrying a concealed weapon with you. It could be considered a, a, a third degree felony. The governor signed the bill into law late Thursday. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.